Today on Garden Fork, learn how to make an easy hoop house to extend your growing season. Stay tuned. Hey everyone, welcome to Garden Fork. Today, how to make a hoop house. A hoop house is like a cold frame for your vegetables. You can extend your growing season or start your growing season early. We've made a number of cold frame hoop houses and I built a new one and I wanted to show it to you, all right? Don't, don't do that. Here. This is a uh, fall and winter mix of lettuce and salad greens that I got from Fedco. Uh, they're on the web, there'll be a link below. And these have done really well, and I want to cover them up with this new hoop house I built. Extend our season, what do you think? I think it's so nice to have garden fresh salad in November. Literally last night, quick salad came out here with a flashlight. Cut off the tops of some of this, went inside, throw the ball. Ate salad. Salad. Notice the vents on the end. Those are thermatic vents. Uh, to buy them, there's a link below in the show notes, okay? Um, they open and close about 40 degrees, so when it gets really warm in your hoop house cold frame, those open up, cool the place down. It, this gets amazingly warm. It's very nice. Perhaps I should go in there now then. Okay. Ready? Yeah. Oh, I like it. Nice in there, huh? Yeah. I would like it better if I were arugula. So why is it called a hoop house? Well, because it's got hoops in it. Yes, it does. But you can see here, I've used PVC pipe. And to connect the PVC to our wood frame, I just pilot, I drilled pilot holes and then put in drywall screws. And then I put a strengthener across the whole top of the hoop house there. We get some heavy snows up here, so the other hoop houses I've built, a couple of them have been crushed by the snow. So this here, with this uh, one by two here, screwed in and attached to the cross pieces, uh -huh. the hoops, I think will really help. To determine the size of your hoop house, figure out how wide your raised beds are. You want the hoop house to fit just inside the raised bed. Not on the top. No, you can make this go eight foot long or 10 foot long, whatever long. Uh, we used two by threes to build this. You could use two by fours. I got two by threes because they're slightly smaller and lighter, so it's a little easier to carry. Who's harvesting beans? They like snow peas and string beans and raspberries. So do you. Yeah. <laughs> These plywood sides, I used really uh, thin, lightweight plywood. Use what you got. This is not outdoor rated. Um, over time, this will fall apart. Uh, you can paint this with an exterior uh, latex paint to make it last longer. I like the really thin plywood because... I like the really thin plywood because it makes it lighter and easier to carry because in the spring, we have to put this away. You don't want it just laying around in your yard, you know? Okay, everybody remember that. <laughs> Tidy pup. <laughs> so you can do that all by yourself. Very lightweight. That's why I use the thin plywood. There you go. Done? This will extend our season, and then in the spring, it'll warm the soil up sooner, and we can start greens at we can plant greens that we started in our greenhouse and our grown lights. We have videos about all that seed starting stuff and grow lights. The links are below and at the end of the show. You, you take the rope, you take the ball. They're back. All right, if you like what you're seeing here, we put out shows every week. Hit the subscribe button here. If you want to buy this vent, the link is below. I do. I've got a bunch of more photos of building the hoop house on our website. There's a link below as well. Go to our website, check out all the photos about how to build this thing. All right, tell me what you're doing in the below. Are you growing some stuff in a cold frame or a hoop house? It'd be good to hear from you. Stay warm, lettuce. Yeah, this would be great for them. <laughs> See ya.